I didn't know you had your own cafe. You're running it with your husband? Yes, I am. Thanks for coming today. I can't do anything special for you, but I would love it if you could come again. You just opened it, right? It hasn't been a year yet. I'm doing my best. But is that stuff okay? What stuff? Did you get permission to open? Permission? Of course. I got my business license, so there's nothing to worry about. No, I'm not talking about that. What do you mean? My husband is kind of in that business. What? I told him about your cafe, but he didn't know about it. Isn't that a little dangerous? Are you paying protection money? I don't understand. What are you talking about? You aren't paying protection money. Ashley, you can't do that. My husband's pissed off. He said he won't forgive you for opening up a cafe without permission. What are you talking about? I got permission. What protection money? You amateurs. My husband says he's going to make you pay. He's probably going to come over tomorrow. I'm giving him your number. What? My number? Why are you giving him my number without permission? It can't be helped. It's your fault, Ashley. I can't help you even if I'm your friend. My husband is an actual member. Anyway, it'll be solved if you just pay. Make sure you have the money ready. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm not going to pay any protection money. You're not in any position to say you won't pay. If you don't want to get hurt and go out of business, I would think about your actions. I don't know what you're talking about, Tasha. Please tell your husband that he shouldn't get involved with us. A few minutes later. So you're the one who's doing stuff without permission on our street? Tasha told me. You've got to be kidding me. A cute cafe? Who gave you permission to do that? Are you Tasha's husband? My husband and I got all the permission we need. You shouldn't be complaining. Oh, really? You thought I'd be satisfied? I'll forgive you if you shut up and pay. Pay what? Protection money. If you don't pay, I'll have to visit your store. If you don't want that, you better pay the protection fee. I can't do anything even if you say so. I mean, what is protection money? Who in the world is telling you to do this? My boss and my organization. Huh? What organization? Gosh, you amateurs. Don't you understand that you'll be in big trouble if you go against me? I'm Leo from the Southside Riders, and I'm telling you to pay on behalf of my boss. The protection fee is 25 grand. Excuse me? The Southside Riders? Are you serious? Looks like even an amateur like you knows who that is. It's the biggest gang running the streets around here. You're threatening us using your boss's name, but are you sure you should be doing that? That's my job. It's the boss's order, 25 grand. Or else we shut your store down. So you're really saying it's your boss's order? If I'm not mistaken. Wouldn't that be even more dangerous for you if that were a lie? Huh? What did you say? What do you know? What do you think you're talking to? Um, this is private chat, so... You're threatening someone. You better be prepared, then. If you think we're just an ordinary couple, you're going to get hurt yourself. You're something if you think you can say that. Well, that doesn't matter. I'll come to collect tomorrow. You better have 25 grand ready, got it? I don't get it, and I don't intend on paying. What the hell? I'll mess up your store. If you do that, you'll be the one who regrets it. Please, think before you act. I wouldn't recommend doing anything stupid in our store. The next day. Did you learn your lesson? You better have the money ready tomorrow, or I'll mess up your store even more. You purposely targeted the store when my husband wasn't here. But I already told him. 
It was just a coincidence he wasn't there. I don't care about your husband. I would do the same thing no matter who was there. It's my boss's order. My husband just came back. I told him you suddenly came in and demanded money. And also broke the store's door. Of course I demand it. Doing things without permission? It's your bad you opened a store here without permission. All you have to do is pay the protection money. Let me ask you one last time. Did your boss really tell you to do this? How many times do I have to tell you? Do I really have to put your store out of business for you to understand? Who told you you can open a store here? The boss of the Southside Riders wants you to pay 25 grand. Oh, really? My brother told you that? What? This is Ashley's husband. Are you the punk that messed up our store? The boss of the Southside Riders is my brother. Did my brother really tell you that? What? Brother? My brother's the boss of the Southside Riders, and I just checked with him. He said he doesn't know you. Leo Thomas, right? He said there's no one in the gang with that name. How do you know my full name? The brother of the Southside Riders boss? Stop joking around. I wish it were a joke. Aren't you really just a wannabe gangster? You being in a gang is a lie. You even used the Southside Riders name. Do you know what's going to happen if you did that? It really was my boss's order. Okay, then I'll come over right now. What? You're Ashley's friend's husband, right? I already know where you live. I'll come over with my brother. Brother? Really? I've been telling you that. And you said you were a member too, right? The shops on this street and around here have been saying that there's someone who's collecting protection money using the Southside Riders' name. I heard some rumor like that. I didn't know it was someone so close. The boss has already heard it. Wait, is that about me? You threaten shop owners who don't really know better and make them pay you money, right? If you really want to be in business with my brother, why don't I introduce you to him? I'm bringing him over, so stay put. Wait a second. You don't have to bring him over. It was probably a misunderstanding. My boss might have been talking about a different cafe. I'm sorry. It's no use panicking now. Well, I'm headed over now. I'm giving back the phone to my wife now, but don't ever talk to her again. If you do, you'll be dead. Hang on a second. Calm down. Let's calm down and think about this. I'm sorry. It was all a big misunderstanding. What was a misunderstanding? My husband is already heading over. What? Ashley? That's why I warned you yesterday. I told you you shouldn't do it. It's too late now, isn't it? What's too late? I'm sorry about before. Was that true? About what? The boss of the Southside Riders is your husband's brother? Unfortunately, yes. That's why you're finished. You shouldn't have targeted our cafe. Now your family can no longer live in the city. It's a shame because I thought Tasha and I could become close friends. You thought our cafe would be a good target, but no. So get lost. Wait a second. We're going to be banished from this city. Not only this city, you're probably finished. My husband was really angry that you threatened and trashed our store. And my brother-in-law really cares about us. You'll really regret hurting us. Hurt you? I never hurt you. I never actually laid a hand on you. And I'm not one to turn to violence. The door in your store broke when I kicked it a little. It's not completely my fault. Gosh, I don't care anymore. Say what you want. It's not my problem anymore. I just lost one friend. Please, wait. You're friends with Tasha, aren't you? Then don't give up. Please, stop your husband. There's no merit in banishing us. Yes, there is. You have to pay back all the money you collected from everyone else. What you did was horrible. I know that. But you don't have to go this far. I learned my lesson. And I'll fix your door. I'm sorry for doing something this stupid. Please, tell your husband to forgive me. Nope. I mean, my husband won't stop, even if I tried. My husband is in that kind of business. What? You tried to pretend you were a gangster, 
and take protection money from us. That was dumb. Shouldn't you have chosen your opponent a little more carefully? How should I know? Tasha told me that her friend opened a new cafe. I was only going to take a look. I never thought it would come to this. You and your family are finished. Wait, please. It was just a stupid idea. I never actually thought to take 25 grand or shut down your store. Oh, really? So it's just like I said. You should have thought about how you acted. You're finished. Nothing you can say will change that. Well then, goodbye. I'll leave everything else to my husband and brother-in-law. They're really scary people, so good luck. After that, Leo looked at the text and feared for his life. But Ashley's husband and his brother arrived shortly after. He cried and begged on his knees for forgiveness. Ashley doesn't know what happened after that, but the wannabe gangster's family was never seen again. The Thomas family was said to have never again walked the streets of that city again. Because of Mr. Thomas' stupid behavior, the awful ending became inevitable. Ashley and her husband received the compensation money to fix the door, and all was solved. They forgot about Mr. Thomas and Tasha, and have gone back to living a peaceful life. Thanks for watching our video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down so we know to do better for next time. If you enjoyed yourself, consider subscribing. And if you really enjoyed yourself, maybe consider hitting that bell icon so you never miss any of our videos. Thank you again. See you in the next one.